Wow. Right. The computer crashed. All the files are gone. Oh. What are we going to do, bud? I don't know. Well, I think I'm going to cry for about 30 minutes. Take a moment to collect yourself. Long as you need. <laughs> but, can you to it? You're right, but we can. Because guess what we have? What? We have Backblaze. So we have our computer all backed up and secure online, the entire disk protected and saved. I use Backblaze myself, and it's a lifesaver. I feel f safe and secure knowing that all my files are backed up, especially since I do make all these mods for you guys. If I didn't have my computer backed up, who knows what could have happened if I would have, if my hard drive would have went out. I could have lost the mod, and then I wouldn't have been able to release it. My hard drive got destroyed. I lost all my files. Backblaze comes in and says, No, son. You have all your files backed up on the cloud. Thank goodness. Yay! So get Backblaze today, guys. Tell them get Backblaze. Backblaze! Back up your files today. Hello, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, today we are going to do the installer showcase for Mysteries of the Sith 3.0, uh, this remastered 3.0. So this is, uh, the, so you're going to get this zip file and all these files are in here. So, um, if you want to, you can open up the, uh, installation guide first thing. And it will explain exactly what I'm going to go over, so you don't necessarily have to read any of this, because I'm going to go over it all with you guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So basically, you just we have two installation packs that you need to install. I definitely, uh, they definitely are made to be used together. I don't recommend not installing both packs, um, especially, but if you are going to go ahead and do just one of them, definitely just do the, the main pack. But unfortunately, if you only do the main pack, most of the textures will not be updated. You need to do that texture pack as well. So um, I just recommend just installing both of those. It doesn't matter what order you install them in. It just... You need to get them both installed in your root directory of Mysteries of the Sith. And right now, uh, it's still on sale. Hold on, let's see. For another seven hours as of this video being recorded. So I don't know if you're watching this a little late. It might be too late. But you can get this game for 70... Whoa, let's turn that off. <laughs> You can get this game for 74 cents. That's insane. And then on, on the GOG version, um, you can get a bundle pack that includes Jedi Knight and Mysteries of the Sith for $1.50 or something. I don't have that one up, but just a note on that. That was That's kind of cool. Uh, if you don't have the game and you want to play this, now's the time to get it. And, you know, even if it is off sale now, it's only three bucks. So it's really not that bad, even not on sale. If you're watching this a little late and sale's over, three dollars. This will set you back three dollars if you don't have the game. So anyways, let's go ahead and install the game. Uh, let's see here. So let's just install the main one first. And I'm going to be going over installing it on every version, so GOG, Steam, and the CD version as well. So here we go. Here we go. Let's install Mysteries of the Sith 3.0. So 
So basically, what what is this mod? Basically, I used Open Jedi Dark Forces 2 and put in a whole bunch of other mods that other people have made. But then we also, at least in this version, uh, me and Fast Gamer, uh, we put in um, the we put in the work to get the the in-game cutscenes mod to actually work with Open Jedi first of all, and then also get it um, to where it you you see the updated models and everything, and it actually works and it and it basically effectively remasters the cutscenes. So let's go ahead, go through here. If you want to read through this, there's credits and all that uh, jazz. Here's where you're going to need to do some, uh, just make sure you're in the root directory of the game. Uh, I have it defaulted as Steam because I feel like most people are going to probably have the Steam version. Uh, but if you don't have the Steam version or if you have your Steam version installed somewhere else, definitely change that. And we are going to go ahead and do the Steam version first. However, <laughs> my Steam directory is different, so I'm going to change that real quick. I have mine installed on a uh, another hard drive. So we'll go there, and then Games, Steam, and then it's usually in your Steam apps, Common, and then here's all your games. And then you just want to select Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. That directory and then hit OK. So now we have our Steam directory selected. So let's go ahead and hit next start and that will install. This one won't take as long as the next installer because this one is only about three two hundred and fifty gigs or something. Or two hundred yeah. Or no two hundred and fifty megabytes. Sorry. The next one is about one, 1 1.7 gigs. So for some reason, the reason I have two installers is because there were, I was getting an error with, uh, I was getting an error with the, uh, with the creator installer for some reason. Uh, the creator installer was airing out and I googled the air and it said something along the lines of it's not able to handle a two gig size package and I was just thinking to myself like that doesn't make any sense for a video game installer to not be have a, ma a maximum size of two gigs makes no sense at all there we go finally this one launched so let's go ahead and get this texture pack installed pretty quickly it's pretty easy you just need to make sure it's in the root directory so let's go ahead and find that root directory again game steam apps common and mysteries of the sith there we go. We'll hit next on that and get that started. Because so this one's going to take a while. So yeah, anyways, I had to go ahead. I was I was running low on, on time to get this released on the 4th. So I was like, I just need to... I just need to stop and just make it two installers. Because it's just not going to get released if I don't. So unfortunately, that's why we have two installers. Because this mod actually went over the two gig size <laughs> for once i guess the other mods the other remastered versions they didn't they it didn't hit that two gig mark so i was always fine but this one takes the cake so but anyways let's wait for this to install and then I'll show you guys what you need to do next. So there is some configurations that you're going to have to do before you start the game. Because if you start the game without them, then it's not going to look as good. 
So you're definitely going to want to do the configurations that I show you after we get it going. But basically the process is the same for the, the other versions as well. Steam version, if you want to make it, I'm going to go over how to, uh, if you want to make the mod run through um, the Steam launcher so you can record your game hours. So I know people like to record their game hours with Steam. So you can still do that with using this mod, but I'm, you, you just have to do a little bit of uh, legwork in order to get it to work. So we'll show you that is that here in a second after this installs. So yeah, a huge, huge thank you to Fast Gamer. I could not have gotten the in-game cutscenes working um, without him. Like he was instrumental. And then also all the updated models that we made. Uh, they're just amazing. Okay, so after it installs, you're going to have a shortcut on the desktop. And then you'll also have a start menu sh shortcut as well under Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. And that one is right here. Here you go. So it's the same thing. And this will launch the game. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're pretty much ready to roll so we can go ahead and launch it. When you launch it, it will load some background uh, some background stuff uh, but go ahead and don't close out of that just keep it going and then here you're, you're gonna be at this menu you're probably gonna if you already had a player you might want to make a new player uh, because save games will not load your old save games are not gonna load with this so you might want to make a new player or whatever you want to do uh, see, like, this player can't be set because it's, yeah, it, it was not, yeah. So anyways, for configuration, you're going to want to click on setup and click on display. So obviously, uh, starting off, it's in a window. So you're going to want to enable full screen, and then you're going to want to enable all these others. The biggest one that you're going to want to enable is bloom, because without the bloom, some of the light blaster and lightsaber effects look kind of goofy if you don't have that enabled here you have fov this is basically just like your uh and the configuration guys goes over it but this basically it's your field of view yeah, sorry i got my little son in here So basically, you set your field of view and you can see a more widescreen. If you have a bigger monitor, um, it, it's great for that. But I'm going to set mine back down to 90 because it looks better. On a 1080 mon monitor, it looks better. So we're at there. Now we're at full screen. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the general tab and disable the cutscenes. And then, I don't know if the subtitles are going to actually even work. Let's just leave them on and see what happens. I don't think the subtitles will work. So you might as well just disable those too. But you definitely want to disable the cutscenes because these are the video cutscenes. And if you keep them enabled, I mean, you can if you want to because it's kind of neat because... You'll watch the HD cutscene and then you'll see the old cutscene on how it used to look. So if you want to do that, you can keep them on and kind of have like a, oh cool, this is how it used to look type thing. But you definitely, um, if you don't want to do that, you definitely want to disable that. So disable that. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do, configure it. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch a little thing here. So the way the cutscenes work is they're in game now. So that it basically loads like a level. So it's loading the cutscene right now. 
Once you press OK, goes into the cutscene. Excellent, Mara. You're becoming very adept at using the force to anticipate my actions. Nice. Insight may save your life. And we've, and if you want to skip the cutscene, you can hit exit. Uh, you can hit the escape button and it'll skip the cutscene. Wait, oh yeah, we, I was gonna test out the, uh, um, to see if it had the subtitles. It did not have the subtitles on that, so yeah, it, it won't have the subtitles. And then uh, another thing you're gonna want to do is maybe turn down the music a little bit. Because it's pretty loud. I did update the music a little bit to the re uh, to the uh, you probably can't hear me very well, so I'm just gonna do some gameplay for a little bit and then I'll talk later. So let's do the gameplay real quick. Closing the blast doors. Oh, goodbye. Got him. Let's see, what kind of force power do I have? Force pull. You don't have a blaster now. What are you gonna do? He's gonna try to punch me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Stormtrooper? Common. No. Ah. Let's do. Ah. There we go. dead all right well there we go guys it's working it's working perfect it's so cool so let's go ahead and quit we'll do the other the other versions so let's look at how to uninstall so I got my so when you want to uninstall here hold on a second Okay, so in order to uninstall, you want to right click, open file location, and then from here, oh wait, no, we don't want to uninstall yet. We don't want to uninstall. We want to launch it through the launcher. That's right. So let's launch, let's figure out what we do to launch it through the launcher. So to launch it through the launcher, first you're going to want to go find your um, Jedi Knight 
m.exe file. And you want to go to change, change, rename that and copy that name. And then you're going to want to put old or just, you know, change the name a little, a little bit. And then you're going to want to find this open Jedi, open JK DF2 dash 64.exe. Right click on that, click rename and paste the Jedi Knight m.exe in there press enter and that will change the open jedi exe to the jedi knight m and it will trick steam into launching that instead of um the uh the old exe now we're not out of the woods yet though because if you want the in-game cutscenes, there's still a little bit you're gonna have to do so you can actually right click on this and click edit this Jedi Knight remastered.bat. Right click on this, click edit, copy this part here, dash dev mode, dash path, JKM cutscenes, and copy that, exit that out. Go to your library. Go to your Mysteries of the Sith, right click and go to Properties, and for the launch options you're going to want to do, you're going to want to paste that uh, code set there. So dash dev mode dash path JKM cutscenes. Now that's there, you should be able to launch the, the game with the remastered uh, mod through the launcher. So now we'll hit play. And we'll see if it launches correctly. Yep, it's it's opening Open Jedi. Let's see. Yep, there it is. It launched perfectly. No problems. Awesome. So now we'll go ahead and quit. And then you can see last played today. And it recorded a little bit of that time there. So cool. It worked. So now <clears throat> let's go ahead and do <clears throat> the uninstallation. So of course you're going to want to go to your directory here. Uh, first you'll just want to go ahead. You can just delete this exe since we're uh, uninstalling it anyways. And then you just delete this part and that gives the that gives it the old exe back in there and then you're just going to undo the uninstall texture pack so we'll do that that removes the texture pack and then uh there's also this jkm remastered uninstaller so you just double click on that and that will uninstall that now we're not completely uninstalled there are a few extra files here that you can delete these open Jedi, uh, these are just configuration files. So you don't necessarily have to delete them. And this register.json file is also a configuration file. You can delete that. You don't have to delete them, but you know, just in order to clean it up a little bit more, you can. But the biggest thing that you're gonna wanna do is, so the installation does replace a few files so that's why i installed backup file folders as well for those files so you can go into the resource folder and cut the uh this file back out and put it back in here because if you don't you're not going to have any of the sounds because we re 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 remastered a lot of the sounds in this as well and then of course the music, I replaced a lot of, quite a few of the tracks for the music. So you're gonna wanna cut those out and paste them back into the music folder. And that'll, that'll give you the original music. So if you actually don't like my new music too, um, and you want the old music, you can do the same thing uh, to, so that way you don't even have them in the remastered, you have the original music too. If you wanted to do that, you can do that the same way. So now it's completely uninstalled and it will launch. Um, 
Oh yeah, let's let's do one more thing too. Uh, that's the wrong directory. I lost my Steam directory again. Which one? Wait, this is the right one, right? Yeah, it's Steam. So we're gonna go to go to players and delete that player. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let's go back here and see. Properties. It's not supposed to. Okay, cool. Okay, so now it should launch the game, the original game. There we go. It's launching the original game. Yeah, it's back. Back to normal. <sighs> oh yeah, it's really tiny then on, on the screen there, isn't it? <laughs> But yeah, it works fine. That's how you uninstall it. Whoops, multiplayer. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and let's install it on the GOG version and then we'll go from there. I'll delete this player. So let's uninstall it, or let's install on the GOG version now. For those who have the GOG version, here we go. So first, it doesn't matter which order you install these, so you just double click on them. Click yes, we'll just double click on the main one. And you can read all this if you want to. Um, read all this in the credits as well, hit agree. And then now it's defaulted to the Steam directory, so you're gonna have to find your GOG directory. So you're going to have to go here and find where you installed GOG. GOG is installed on a couple different places depending on what you have. If you have the launcher, it's installed in GOG Galaxies. So, really little guy. I have my son with me here. He's six months old. So here we go, GOG Galaxies, and then Games, and you're going to want to select the Mysteries of the Sith root directory. So there we go, we got it selected, and installed. So we'll wait on that to install. Do, 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 do. There we go, it's installed. Then don't forget to install the texture pack as well, because that's got a ton of updated textures for the game. Takes a little bit to load. There we go. So we'll install the texture pack. Make sure you select your GOG directory. GOG galaxies. Games. Mysteries of the Sith. Start and install. So I'm hoping that people will have more luck installing this on other versions of the of the mod or of the game or of uh, Windows and all that. 
but I've only I've got Windows 10, so I know it works really well on Windows 10. But other than that, I'm not sure. There we go. Awesome. It's installed. So we'll hit next, exit. And now it should have a shortcut on the desktop. It's all right, little guy. It's okay. So just double click on that and it'll launch the game. There we go. It's good. It's golden. And I got a bunch of players here. Yeah, you might want to just create a new player. Oh, I kind of messed up on that name, but oh well. Uh, then you're going to go to the setup, display. You want to enable all of these because this really helps out with like the textures and stuff. FOV, field of view, you can adjust that accordingly. Don't want to go too crazy with it because then you're going to be like, Ooh, unless you have like a huge monitor or something, it's not going to look good. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is go to general tab and actually disable the cutscenes. So you're going to want to disable those cutscenes. And then uh, there's no reason to enable subtitles because they don't work on the in-game cutscenes. So we're disabling the cutscenes because these are the video cutscenes and the other ones are the um, in-game cutscenes. That's how we got it to be remastered. We'll hit OK on that. Then we'll hit OK there. And then, yeah, we're ready to launch the game. So don't launch any of these down here. You're going to only want to launch this one here with for the main game and this one for the secret level. So let's actually open up the secret level this time instead. So this is, so the secret level is a level that was actually provided by LucasArts back in the day, but you had to do a little bit of uh, coding and a little, or not a coding, but you had to add like a couple of code lines to like a, a, a file in order to get it to load. So here we go. We actually did do a couple changes. Well, whoops, R2. <laughs> whoops. So as you can see, we changed the lightsaber model for the secret level. So he has his Luke's lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. So that's cool. I don't know if you can hear me over the music and all that, but it's all good. But yeah, there we go. It's good to go. You guys can play. And we can uninstall this too by right clicking, opening that, and then um I know that Gog Galaxy has like a launcher too. I don't know if you can do the same thing that we did with the Steam version and do like launch options or whatever. It's okay. Shh and do the launch op options and all that. But anyways, to uninstall it, it's pretty simple. You just, uh, there's two uninstallers since there's two, there was two installers. So this remastered.exe, you just double click on that, uninstall, okay, uninstalled. And then there's also that texture pack uninstaller. So you uninstall the texture pack, boom, gone. Oh wait, this one's taking a little bit longer. That's okay. So another thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click into the music folder and get the backup music tracks and paste them back in here. And that'll get the music back in or the old music back in. And then also you're going to need to go into the, whoops, not that. You're going to need to go into the resource folder and go into the sound backup and get that sound uh, file back into the resource folder because we remastered quite a few of the sounds we had to replace that file 
So now it should be back to normal to uh, the way it used to be. Once that texture pack is completely uninstalled, which... Oh yeah, there it is. It's uninstalled now. So yeah, now it should be back to normal. Uh, I'm not sure which. Here's a shortcut. Let's see if it works. It should launch it and be old again. Yeah, there it is. It's old. Yep, it's the old one again. You can select your... Uh, Oh yeah, you have to enable a 3D acceleration, probably. How do you get it in full screen? Oh well. Anyways, it, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play it in its old form. I'm gonna play it in the remastered form anyways, huh? But it's back to normal. I mean, if you want to. Um, I just try to make things simple and easy. And of course, the CD version. Um... So for the CD version, you might have to have, you might come up with this error here. Let's take a look at this. So, so here's the thing that you're going to need to, uh, you're going to need to be aware of. So in previous versions, um, or it, well, I guess not in Mysteries of the Sith, but in the remastered versions. Let's zoom in here a little bit here. There we go. So if you, whoa, if you get this error, come on, stop. So if you install the game and then you launch the shortcut um, and you get this error missing files. So either one of two things, either you don't have, um, or either you installed it in the wrong directory. So if you didn't install it in the root mysteries of the Sith directory, try to go back and see if you messed up, maybe you forgot to, you selected the wrong folder or something and it installed on the, in the wrong folder. If that's the case, just uninstall it from there and then start over again. Um, and then you, this error shouldn't be there anymore after you install it correctly. Second thing that could be wrong is you might have files missing from your, your Mysteries of the Sith game. So in those cases, you're going to want to uninstall it, the game and reinstall the game. And, and then thirdly, um, you may just have the CD version and uh, it might just be complaining about this jk.cd. If you don't have that in the resource folder, it complains. So I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and have that uploaded on mod database. I don't have it uploaded yet, but I'm going to go ahead and just put it here in these files and say, hey, here, if you are if you have the CD version and you get this error, here, download this, put it in the resource folder, and then you shouldn't get the error anymore. Because the problem is if you go ahead and press OK and you install it in the app data folder, all the mod files and everything is not going to be there and it's not going to load the it's not going to load the remastered version. It's going to load the Open Jedi um, engine, and it's going to look a little bit better, but it's not going to be the remastered and the remastered the remastered cutscenes and all the fun stuff is not going to be in there. So you're going to definitely want to make sure you don't get this error. You get this error, you need to definitely figure out what's going on. Um, and then yeah, if you want to read through how to get the steam launcher working you can go through here uninstall if you want to play with other mods uh you place that in the uh the the mods directory um but yeah just be aware if you play with other mods that it could corrupt your saved games i've had problems with that in the past a mod different mods had crashed my saved games and I couldn't figure it out and then I realized oh it's because I had those mods but anyways guys that's pretty much it um oh yeah we'll go 
I already recorded the CD version in another video, so we're going to go over that next and then we'll be done. So let's go over the CD version and it should be good. We've already gone over Steam and GOG. Now we just need to install it on the CD version. And before we go any further, let's see. I wanted to try something. Mods, Mysteries of the or Jedi Knight, uh, Mysteries of the Sith. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna let's see. There we go. Mysteries of the Sith. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and mount my disc here. I'm going to see what's in here. Interesting. So it's interesting. I guess the disc doesn't come with music or the, the CD version doesn't come with the music or whatever. Or unless you have like if you actually have the CD, it probably does come on your actual CD disc, CD ROM disc. But this is just the downloaded uh iOS files. So that being said, so with the CD version it's a little bit trickier because obviously uh Unfortunately, you can't really install the game with the CD version, so you have to kind of go about it the uh, and get the iOS file, mount it, and all that jazz, which I'm not going to go over that in this video. There's other channels and other people who have gone over that, and I've gone over that, I think, at least one time, where you, how to, how to install the CD version, and you must have the CD version in order to do it that way, because... Uh, it's that's just not right to uh, basically steal the game if you do it that way. But anyways, uh, you've installed the CD version. How do you install the mod on the CD version? So basically, I'm going to do something like this maybe. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Let's see. So the CD version is going to have. So the CD version is fortunately not going to have this file. So let me put this in a backup folder. I want to see if we can figure out how to actually run the mod without having to do that. I think as long as your CD is mounted, right? Let's see. Did I unmount it? I must have unmounted it. Let's mount it back on. Or wait, it's still here. Yeah, it's mounted. Never mind. It's right there. Cool. So as long as you have the CD mounted, I think we should be okay. So let's go ahead and install the game and go from there. If you guys do not have the music folders, uh, let me know. I can maybe provide the music folder to you. Oh, yeah. Anyways, let's uninstall the game first. So we have it installed on the GOG version. Let's get that uninstalled. So to uninstall, you just go to the uh, root directory. Find the... Uh, 
front installer with the Stormtrooper icon, it will say JKM Remastered Uninstaller. So just double click on that. Click yes. It will uninstall the game. It will leave uh, some extra files. Uh, you can tell because they say Open Jedi on them. You can delete those if you want to. And then also this register, register.json is also uh, an open Jedi file that was created after the fact. So that's why those were not uninstalled. So you can delete that one too. Uh, another thing that you're going to have to do to manually get the game back to normal. Is click into the resource folder. Open up the sound backup. Cut this file out and paste it into the main resource folder. That will get the old sounds back into the game because we had to replace that file when we originally installed it because um, we uh, upgraded the sound. We upgraded quite a few of the sounds in the game. Also in the music folder, click, double click in there and get the original music back into the game. Bye. Going into the backup, cut, paste, delete into the music folder. So that's how you do that. Now the game is fully back to normal. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Now we have this other uninstaller, the textures pack uninstaller, which is basically just this folder. But double click on that and it will uninstall all the textures, the upgraded textures. So we'll wait on that. <sighs> right now. Where'd it go? That's not it. Oh, there it is. It's right. Cool. Still uninstalling. I'm going to take it a little bit. Well, that's okay. We don't have to wait for that. I'm just going to move that over out of that screen. There we go. And next, we're going to go ahead and install the, the game. Actually, hold on just a second. Let me, let me do something real quick. No, wait a minute. What am I doing? Yeah, we'll just wait on that real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't know why that installer is taking so long. But anyways, we'll just, or uninstaller, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's move on to installing it on the CD version. So just make sure you have your disk mounted. Um, having your CD in the actual DVD drive. I'm not sure if that actually works or not. But anyways, yeah, let's move on. And then extract the files to 
a, a folder somewhere on your computer. Um, mine is obviously right here. So here we go. And uh, we have two installers, so we're gonna run our main. It doesn't matter what order. Obviously, I already went over that with the other versions of the game as well, but just wanted to reiterate that. It doesn't matter what order you install these. It just uh, just need to make sure that you install them in the main root directory. Okay. So then we'll just go through that. And then now we're gonna select our CD version of the game folder. Mines and C, uh, program files XCD6 and LucasArts and Mysteries of the Sith. You want just the root directory of Mysteries of the Sith. So we're gonna select that. So then we're gonna do install. So that installs at all the mod assets. From the main installer I'm not sure exactly what will be missing if you do not install install the texture pack um, but it's definitely not gonna look as good as what you would want if without that so you're gonna definitely want to install the texture pack as well it's not necessarily really optional Especially if you want like the in-game cutscenes and all that stuff. And then the texture pack. I mean the in-game cutscenes will work. But without the texture pack. You're going to be missing a lot of textures. And I'm not even sure it's going to look good at all without it. So definitely install the texture pack. It's not. It's, it's really not really optional. And I hope that, okay, yeah, that one's done. So now we're waiting on that installer to open up. Almost done here. Anyways, if you are confused about anything, just follow the installation guide. Here we go, finally. So now here's the texture pack. Just basically do the same thing. Go through, hit agree, find your CD folder or wherever your Mysteries of the Sith is installed. I just wanted to do a experiment here to see if Mysteries of the Sith Okay, next, start installation. Got that texture pack installed. Then we'll launch the game, see how it looks. Okay, cool. It's installed. So yeah, uh... Right off the bat, there's an important message like to consult the configuration guide after this. Um, so that way you uh, don't miss out on a lot of the stuff. But let's go ahead and want, I'm curious to see whether I'm gonna get the, uh, get this error. So let's launch. Let's go to the, uh, now we have a shortcut here. So we can just double click on that. And yeah, so we got this error. So if you get this error, you don't want to hit OK. Um, you want to go ahead and exit out. Or wait, you hit OK, I guess, maybe. OK. Once it gets to this part, you don't want to do this. You want to hit Cancel. So hit cancel on that. It will crash. Oh wait, I guess it's just going to keep continuing to a loop. So what you're going to have to do is open up task manager and kill uh, open Jedi. Hmm. 
and just close that out. Um, so unfortunately, hmm, for the disk version, what are you going to say? For those who have the disk version, have you been able to get it to work or not? I don't know. The only way that I was able to get it to work on the disk version was... I took the um, file from the Steam version and put it in there. <laughs> so I don't know if it's necessarily... You're supposed to do that, but... So wait, where is it? Uh, Lucas Arts, Mysteries of the Sith, Resources. So I'm not sure if CD version is supposed to have this or not, but as long as you have this JKCD file in there, it should run now. Let's go back out launch the bat and there we go it's launching so, if you need that file in order to get it to actually run um i'll get that uploaded for those who need that but anyways, now we're in the game, so the only thing we need now is to click on Setup, Display Settings, and you're not, you're going to want to turn all these on. Uh, I recommend turning all these on, at least. Um, but at the very least, you're going to want Bloom on. You don't want the other things, because the Bloom is what uh, enables all the new effects and stuff. I'm going to set my FOV to 100. You don't want to go too crazy on this or else the game will look pretty uh, wide and crazy. But it's, you know, depending on your monitor setup, you know, you may need to slide this up and test around with it or whatever. So that's good. Next, you need to go to general and actually click disable cutscenes because these are the video cutscenes so the game the remastered cutscenes are basically just running in game now so when you click single player video, mysteries of the sith it's going to load and it goes straight into the cutscene these cutscenes are playing in game so it's really cool Obviously, excellent Mara. The cutscene. You can just hit exit or escape, and it'll go to the next. It'll go to the level. And basically, the cutscenes are going to load as if they are levels. So they're because they're in game, so they, they literally have to load like a level. And then you watch it, and then you go to the next. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Another thing too, I obviously replace the music, so that's pretty cool. And then of course, um, what was I going to say? Another thing that you're going to want to do Yeah, I'll take it over to Kennedy, she just woke up. Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. K for Kennedy. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, and yeah. That's pretty much it guys. Have fun playing the mod. Alright. See ya. Bye. I won't fail you again. We'll report their report, sir.